Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kelly. Hi if you're new. I'm super excited because today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my 17 favorites for 2017. I cannot believe it's already 2018. It's so exciting. Happy New Year's. I hope you guys are having a great start to this year so far. I just wanted to let you guys know I did get the flu or like some sort of flu type thing right after Christmas morning. Like literally after like we opened presents and had breakfast and everything. I was just like I don't feel so good and I like lost my voice sort of so my voice sounds a little different and it's slowly coming back but I feel so much better than I did yesterday I was like I feel a little bit better today I'm like it's gonna be a great day it's gonna be a great day you know so I'm super excited to share my 17 favorites with you guys I did this last year I did my 16 favorites of 2016 if you guys want to go check that out I'll have a card so you can just go click that I'll also have it linked down below if you want to watch it after watching this video if you guys want you know if you want you don't have to and you might have already seen it who knows but anyways I wrote all my favorites down in my notebook and this notebook is just from TJ Maxx I actually used this last year it is like my go-to notebook I write everything down in it so I have my 17 favorites listed out so if I am looking down that is what I'm looking at I just want to like point out I probably talk about this stuff a lot especially if you watch like a lot of my videos it's just because they're my favorites you know and that's what this video is going to be all about so my first favorite is my Spotify and my Spotify is just at Kelly Two Wise Tomlinson feel free to follow me if you like I share my playlist I make monthly playlists it's a lot of fun and so Spotify I took like all my data from 2017 and made it into like a little list of like my favorites and everything which I thought was really cool I thought it was really interesting I saw everyone on Instagram doing it so here's my picture of what I'm talking about and my top song that I listened to was Red Mercedes which if you guys watched a few of my drive with me vlogs from over the summer that song is in there and it's like a rap song and I honestly haven't listened to it for like three months or so but it just proves if it was my number one song and I've listened to so much music this month that I listened to it so much when I did like it and it's really a good song I personally like listening Listening to it it's a good it's like a jam I listen to a lot of Justin Bieber as well which I kind of feel like is expected because you know I'm just a JB fan and the Jonas Brothers <laughs> even though they didn't make it onto the list but Justin Bieber is really good but those are my favorites for Spotify which I thought was really interesting to me I guess so I thought that'd be fun to share with you guys and my second favorite was my trip to France and I spent 16 days in France it was my first time ever out of the country I got to use my passport for the first time I went to France with my best friend Maylise and it was just the time of my life I've never had those experiences I'm so lucky and blessed that I got to experience it it was so beautiful and if you guys want to go watch my vlogs I have a vlog for every day that I was gone it was so much fun vlogging and everything that's how I started getting into vlogging I guess but I'll have a card if you want to go check out that playlist but it was seriously so much fun me and Maylise have so many like jokes and like memories together with that it was just an amazing time and I'm excited if I get to go back in the future slowly working on my French I probably learned like six words while I was there and I can't tell you any of them I do know left I don't know why <laughs> okay my third favorite and speaking of France is my heart necklace that I got at a French market and it is so cute it's just so tiny it's a little gold heart necklace I got it at a like a street market when we were there so there's no store to buy it it's just so cute and the guy who was selling them was really nice and everything and he was nice even though I didn't speak a drop of French <laughs> and then another thing that I love for my trip to France were my sandals and Honestly, these look really worn, but they're so cute and they're so durable, I feel like that's the right word. And I'll have them linked down below if I can find the website because there is a brand on them. I've just never heard of it, you know, like it's French. But they're so cute. They're like real leather on the bottom, but the metallic part, oh, these are my go-to shoes. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I wore so many outfits this summer with them. I'm honestly looking forward to spring and summer just so I can wear these shoes again. But we like would walk like... 10 to 12 miles a day just because when you're in France it's like a big walking area these shoes are so comfortable so I didn't have any problem with that so that was awesome my fifth one is my monogram necklace it's just like a gold I think it's like a one inch charm on it it's really cute your monogram is just your first last and then your middle name initial and I think it's really pretty and everything I love it this company is actually out of business at the moment they were in business over the year I guess and it was heartstrings monogramming I can't find them anywhere so I'll have a similar necklace list down below if you guys want to check it out but this one's super cute and of course I gotta tell you guys about my gym and you guys probably are like Kelly we get it you go to the gym now I started going to Orange Theory Fitness which I'll have like their logo over here or something if you guys can identify with that and I started going Going there in July once I got back from France I was like I need a good workout program but I'm like not motivated enough to work out by myself and oh my goodness I never really was like like an intense fitness person or anything 
I love it. It is so much fun. I like love running. I think it's really enjoyable. Like I like to do it on my free time now, which I think is crazy. But I started off and like my fastest I could ever run on the treadmill when I first like went there was like six or seven miles per hour. And now my PR, my personal record is 11.5 miles per hour on my sprint which is like only like 30 seconds but still it's getting better but it's so much fun I love all the people that work there and everything it's just such a fun environment for me and I really love it but my next favorite so my seventh is my Nike shoes and these are what I wear to go running occasionally I have a few different pairs of running shoes but these are probably my favorite at the moment they're just like a nice black and white they go with everything and they're the free runs these are actually from the kids section because I have really tiny feet I think I wear a six or seven in women's so I can fit into like the kid size still which is awesome if you're looking to save some money but these are just like one of my favorites so they're free runs and they're super comfy my eighth favorite are my penny loafers and I actually shared different penny loafers in last year's favorites video but I got some new penny loafers I actually got quite a few pairs of penny loafers this year but these are just like the dark brown ruby leather I think they're gorgeous they're perfect for fall and winter and probably spring you know like the first few seasons but they're just such a classic looking loafer I feel like because the like the leather is just so pretty and these are from Abercrombie and Finch's website which I was honestly surprised but I really have been liking their stuff lately and I'll have these listed down below if you guys want to check them out they were kind of pricey but I think they're worth it because they're really nice leather shoes now I'm kind of into the clothing section of my favorites haul and I'm just gonna warn you guys the stack I'm looking at is pink and blue I mean pink and navy is like that go-to preppy color scheme so just giving you a little heads up. So my first favorite shirt is my pink lacoste polo. I wear polo shirts like almost every single day like they're one of my favorites. I haven't really been wearing them as much right now but like over the summer and spring I wear these all the time. They're just like my go-to clothing piece and this pink one is my favorite color. It's my favorite fit. It's just it's just my favorite so it just has a little alligator on it I think it's so cute and so classy looking and it's just such a comfy shirt this one you guys are like Kelly we get it you wear this all the time and I really do and I need to wash it because it has a little bit of a lipstick stain on it but this is just that gingham tank top that has a little ruffles on the bottom and I have so many Instagram pictures with it if you guys want to check it out but this shirt was from Shein or Romway I can't remember the exact one but it was under like ten dollars great deal just one of my favorite shirts. It's so summertime-y, preppy. It's just adorable. Of course, I'm gonna have a favorite pair of chinos and they're my hot pink ones. I seriously just love pink. It's seriously one of my favorite colors and these are like the most comfortable ones that I have. I don't know about you guys, but like some things are just more comfortable than others. Like I feel like that makes sense obviously, but you know how you have like that favorite pair of jeans that are like just more comfortable than all the rest of your jeans that's how these chinos are they're just like more relaxed fit than all my other ones so i wear these the most then i have my lacoste sweatshirt and this is just like a hoodie and it's not like your typical sweatshirt material it's like actually like a sweater blend and i really like it because it's like different like that and it just has a little alligator and i wear this a lot more than you guys probably see on instagram or youtube just because i like try to wear different stuff for you guys and everything but i really do wear so many outfits outfits like throughout the day and stuff because I'll like wear something out in the morning and then I'll like come home and change and then like when I go out later I'm like oh I'll just wear a different outfit it's so much fun but I like making different outfits so hence you guys don't see every outfit but I wear this so much it's so comfy and it's just like great when it's like a little chilly and you just want to put something on top of your already outfit <laughs> and then of course would it really be a favorites video without a preppy t-shirt so this one is my Lauren James pink one that I got over the summer and it has their like logo with a boat on the back and I just love Lauren James company but I also really love preppy t-shirts and this is a size medium and their t-shirts are a little oversized so I don't recommend sizing up but they're so comfy and since it is like legging season I have been really getting into leggings and oversized t-shirts and this is just one of my favorites my last clothing favorite is my Lily Pulitzer skirt that has shorts underneath and I love this because it's so classy looking because it's like the navy and white and it seriously you can dress up anything with it and you can also wear it really casually but I love Lily Pulitzer it's one of my favorite brands but I love how like chill this one is because it's not like in your face with all the colorful prints and everything don't get me wrong love the colorful prints oh and I think by the time you're watching this the Lily Pulitzer after party sale has started so if you want to check that out be sure to go to Lily's website I have some videos if you want to watch that as well on like tips and tricks for the sale and everything but they only have sales two times a year so I would definitely shop it if you're looking to get some cheap Lily but I love this skirt so much three more things to share with you 
guys so i have been using a self tanner a lot i don't have any on right now just because i am just getting over like the flu and i didn't find the need to be tan and sick at the same time but i love the saint tropez self tanner and this is in the shade dark and i actually like their first one a lot but i love the dark shade better just because it's more noticeable for me because I wouldn't say I have like tan skin because I'm really pale but the like the classic one just doesn't do it for me this one will get me really tan and I love it but what I love so much about the Saint Tropez tan is it's very natural looking and last year if you watch my favorites again I really like the Jergens Insta Sun and I still really like that product a lot it's just more of an orangey tint where this one is just like a nice dark skin tone looking one so I really like this again this one is a little bit more of a splurge it's around $50 per bottle so it's nice to have the Jergens one because it's $10 rather than $50 a bottle, but this one just has a really pretty color that I love. And then when I was at Alta when I bought that, and I bought this in, I want to say like August, maybe July, and it's lasting me and there's still like a ton in here. So definitely don't use a lot, but it like works and everything. And then I have the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and I am in the shade fair to neutral and this is like a great under eye slash like brightener on your face and it is amazing I love it it's one of my favorite like non-drugstore products I don't really buy a lot of brought I don't really buy a lot of products that are really expensive but I heard such great reviews on that and I'm like I have to try it and it is amazing I mean there's other really good drugstore concealers and everything but I really really like that and I definitely recommend it it's a bit of a splurge as well I think that was like $40 maybe I could be wrong on that but I really like that product a ton and my 17th favorite is my YouTube and just like Kelly Prepster like Instagram and everything it's been so much fun another great year of like connecting with all of you guys sharing my fashion favorites and you guys seriously make me so happy like more than you guys will ever know so thank you so much for all your love and support and your nice comments and everything they mean the world to me you guys are just amazing and I hope you guys are having a wonderful new year I hope you guys had a great holiday vlogmas was so much fun I'm sorry I like kind of just disappeared for like the past week and a half I really I still kind of sound a little sick but I was just like out of it I couldn't do anything I was like in bed all day but <laughs> I did watch some good Netflix so January favorites this month we'll have some good TV shows and everything to share with you guys and everything but I hope you guys had a wonderful day thank you so much for watching this you guys are seriously so awesome and I'll see you guys very soon with my next video bye guys yeah.